Hey, so apparently I was a bit dry in the last video and uh, I'm not going to change that. So I'm just going to show you how you can create your drawing sets. So let's just imagine that that is a house completely um, finished, happy with what we're doing um, and mine the gap underneath. Uh, essentially what I want to do is manipulate the stories in a moment and on the right hand side I need to come over to layout book. And there's a whole lot of things here we need to just minimize so minimize this so we don't see much such as that great next i'm going to go to da district approval um if you see something different call me over and i'll give you a hand um, a couple of things we're going to look at specifically are elevations sections and um probably a couple of plans as well so how my house is drawn and hopefully yours is similar uh, I've got a ground floor, which is all of the grass, um, including the elevation of. I've got the first floor, which is this slab level, and the walls are built upon that. And I've currently got a second floor, which is actually my roof. So what I'm going to do is just rename this story to extra. So if you've got a two-story house, obviously you'll need another level. And if you get this wrong, um, it's bad, but okay. Uh, we'll have a look at the implications in a sec. Okay, so if I go back to my layout book and I'm going to do an elevation view, just do a north elevation view to start with. And this should come in automatically. So what I'm doing is uh, basically standing at the, the north point looking south. Uh, in this is in an A1 bit of paper down here, so I'm going to need to manually change that to say A3 landscape. Whoa, we can say it doesn't fit any longer, not a worry. I'm just going to grab my whole drawing by just clicking and dragging it down. And if yours is like mine, not going to fit on the page, what I want you to do is organize it so you can see these levels on one side, as well as your house, obviously. So the most detail of your house is the more important aspect. So probably if I move it this way a little bit, um, that's going to work. So now if I zoom back, I can see why that thinks it's going to be so big. So if I select the vertices, I'm just going to chop this down so it's within my page. And then I want to do this every time. Um, so it's outside my title block. Okay. Um, and if I click there, that should now be all good. So if I press um, Control P, I can now print to PDF as you want. When you go to page setup, you'll need to make sure that you modify that the size is A3 and landscape and OK and you'll need to um, identify where you're saving that. Okay, so essentially you're going to do that with all of your elevation views as well as your section views. Now if your section views aren't set up correctly, um, so for me I'm okay with that um, apart from just having to change that size to A3 landscape with title block and then left click and dragging and repositioning Try that again. Okay, so that one looks like it's going to fit on, which is good. Now you can see that this has that got that extra level and roof. I'm going to go back to my model and just fix that up now. So here's my my house, lovely as it is. If I right click, oops, sorry, click on the floor I don't want, so extra. I'm going to delete this story. I recommend you save before you do this. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm okay with this. So I'm just going to say delete anyways. Awesome, and now if I go back to my view, say my section view that I generated, that automatically updates, which is awesome. And you can see with the ground, first floor, and the roof. Um, so once I've generated all of my documents, that's awesome. Um, I've shown you how to render already, so I don't know if I need to go into that. Um, if I go to my first floor, um, I can Id identify what these markers are. So this is going to be my east elevation, my west elevation, my north, and my south. I've previously explained how to move them, so use that as you need to. Secondly, we've got section views, and you can either create your own section view or use what's existing. 